Okay, so you are going to be working on a color, use of color in a composition. And you're going to be working with this amazing uh, work of art called The Conversion of Mary Magdalene by Paolo Veronese. Uh, and this is from the National Gallery of London. If you click on this link, it will bring you to the National Gallery of London and you will see many amazing works by Paolo Veronese. He lived in, from 1528 to 1588, born in Verona. It's a beautiful place. I've been there. Uh, and uh, he then, uh, a, there's a, a Shakespeare play called The Two Gentlemen of Verona. If you've never heard of it, uh, that's where it takes place. Uh, so if you want to read about him, and there's all kinds of other uh, links here uh, to other artists uh, and you can find out all kinds of exciting things about him. Okay, you're going to be uh, responding to sensory information here uh, and you are analyzing and making judgments in the visual arts. Now, the objective. Uh, you're going to understand tenth shades value and intensity. Yes, you will. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to create a grid in your 9 by 12 paper that's within a frame of one inch from the edges of your paper. Your inner rectangle will be cut in half on the horizontal. You create three equidistant vertical lines. Start with the center line and then measure half the distance from that line to the edge of the rectangle. Let's take a look at that. Okay, this is what you're going to be making here. I'll make this a little smaller so you can see it a little smaller. But uh, you're going to make this, okay? You have your 9 by 12 paper. You're going to measure in one inch using your uh, little ruler, the, your straight edge that you made. And so you get one inch. And then you're going to, this is going to end up being about nine inches here. And then you're going to go four and a half inches, thereabouts, in here. And you're going to make this vertical line. And then you're going to have your, your, you can actually use your little ruler and turn it from here to here measure, cut it in half, or, or fold it, and then you get this, this little point here, run it up and down, run it up and down. Now you've gridded out your paper, and you can actually see where things uh, are. It's important to grid your paper out because uh, it helps you to get your proportions correct, okay? Um, so, you did that using the provided Veronese line drawing and the artwork. Draw out the major forms of the figures and drapery on the figure using the grid to guide you in keeping the figures in proportion, like I was just talking about. Once you have drawn out the scene, use your colors to create color fields in the drapery and also create flesh tones. This is drapery. They are wearing these cloaks and lots of fabric here. Okay, so this is drapery. Okay, and I love drapery. It's just and you can use it for a great dramatic effect, right? Um, you're gonna draw this out and you're gonna get the basic forms, the arm, the, this different shapes. You're gonna see the composition. This is a triangle. This leads your eye through here. This woman's arm is leading you through. This, this woman's arm is coming through. Everybody's gesturing. And then we see, oh, who oh, means Jesus? He's got a halo, and everybody's looking this way or that way, or he's looking at Jesus. She's looking this. He's looking down at Mary Magdalene. So that's where all the focus is in this uh, artwork, okay? And you've got all these different colors. Now, red, a reddish. This, this is this color is complementary to this color. This color is complementary to this color. So you got the oranges and the and the uh, and the blues, and then you got the and this is kind of a reddish orange. So this is comp the green is complementary to that. So you got all kinds of exciting stuff going on here with color. So this is a quick drawing that I made uh, of the scene, but I I'll, you'll see in the video later uh, how it can look. Okay, when you draw it just quickly, gesturally. Now, and then we're back to the grid. You're gonna make this, you gotta do this. Otherwise, you're gonna, it's gonna be a total mess. So I'm gonna quickly hash out this, the figures, okay, in here. And I would say Jesus is over here. This is his arm coming out over here. This has got this drapery over here coming down. This is his leg. His leg is coming here, being gestural. This is his uh, part of his leg. This is his arm coming out. 
this hand. So now looking at the drawing, looking at the or looking at the painting, we want to see that this is a very bright blue. Okay, and it's a little too bright. Now we're gonna get some white, put it in there. Right, okay. and uh, we're gonna look at see what's going on. Jesus has this over here, right? And then he's got this cloak coming around him. And that's coming down, and he's wearing blue. Okay, so not getting the colors that I want. Uh, let's go with the red. Alright, so we're gonna get some black in there. He's got shades of black in him. His arm is coming up like that. This is coming down. This is coming over here. And coming over like that on him. And you you will you see the play of light here. You see how the relationship between the complementary colors of orange and blue, and then the crimson, or the crimson variation on a crimson and orange, and here, and all these shapes are leading your eye through the whole entire composition. So you see Jesus, you see Mary Magdalene, everybody's looking here to the central area because it's all about the conversion of Mary Magdalene. Okay, so have fun with this assignment and um, you play with color and you're gonna get better and better.